Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Phil with my lovely co-host Samantha. Hey guys, welcome back. Bars and Barbells is the channel name and you know that because you're subscribed already. <laughs> if you're not, this is your first time on the channel because we're doing this guy right here, Ian Anderson, then uh, well, you should hit that button and make sure you don't miss anything else going forward because we got lots of fire. Yes. We did one song um, from them, which was a request on our previous one. Uh, the you know quality of the video was a mm, little, little bit of a miss in my opinion, but uh, you guys were real happy with it. You guys probably knew the song a lot better than we did though. So. Yeah, it's hard when it's a live version for your first time. Yes. Listening. So I'm excited to check out another one, a little bit shorter this time, and a 2001 remaster of Locomotive nice. Breath. And this was one of the recommendations that they were giving us in those comments. Cool. I'm excited to see if he brings the fire with flute again. Yeah, you loved the flute in the I last did. one. I right? did. You, you, you really, you know, you were digging that last one quite a bit, right? Yeah. So, I thought it was really creative and really yeah, unique. It was. It was for sure. I, I, you know, that's why I'm excited to get into this one so we can see, you know, maybe in a little bit higher quality with the, you know, I'm... I went to school for recording arts, right? The audio engineering side of things. So sound, I like sound. I like high quality sound. That's yes, my yes. thing, right? So <laughs> um, I'm hoping that's what we get a little bit more of in this one. And I can, you know, hopefully appreciate. Yeah, their... I'm more of a vibes kind of person. Uh, yeah, I like the vibe of it too. <laughs> but I like, I like good quality vibes. We'll put yeah, it that that's way. fair. All right, anyways, you ready to get going uh, enough with the chit chat? I am. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get up a bit. Now there's a lot going on right now. We had the introduction with like, it sounded like pianos, piano and keys in there. Um, built up, obviously his, his vocal came in. Sounds a lot different on this version. Yeah, three much stronger. Sure. Yeah. I feel like um, it's interesting story too. Um, talking about uh, I think like his partner being caught with his best friend or being with his best friend yeah. and. And the train, uh, you they know, they mentioning trains. Well, yeah, the locomotive breath, right? The train aspect. So I think the train is like this perpetual cycle of issues that is coming happening. up. So maybe like the breath of life mm -hmm. is the train that he's referring to. Anyways, uh, but the composition is crazy. Like I just, the, <laughs> there's so much instrumentation in this. It's wild. Um, you know, I, I think they did that in the last one. But also, I think he's playing, from what I read, most of these instruments. That's he laid, crazy. 
he laid most of it down, like the guitar work and all that stuff. Damn. I think they he did some, and then somebody else came in and finished it up. But uh, it's crazy how talented this guy is, man. Like, just putting all this together is wild. Anyways, what are your thoughts so far? I think it's really cool. Like you said, there's a lot going on. One thing that was kind of standing out to me, because like you're saying, he keeps mentioning a train, but even the beat of the song is kind of like... Almost okay, like the true. sound yeah, yeah, of a yeah. train, right? Yeah, that's, that's a good point. I was like, hey. Um, but yeah, like I was, it's just like when there's so much going on, it sounds really good, but it's just so hard to focus on all of the moving pieces at once. The first listens are tough sometimes, yeah. right? So so I think it sounds great. And, you know, like you said, there's a lot of wide array of instruments in there as well as his vocal sounds really strong in this. So It's got a real real great groove to it yeah. too, right? Yeah. And like, you were saying right you like there. to... You know, vibe vibes. out so yeah that's your groove in there yeah. for this one but i haven't really heard a flute yet have you i would suspect we may get into it in the back half but let's find out i'm here for the flute <laughs> Probably why they make the long songs that we listened to in the first one because they they compiled so much into this four minutes yeah, and four and a half wild. minutes. Really crazy. That flute part was sick. You're just all about the flute, eh? Love it. You're gonna start listening listening to him just for his flute playing. Well, I mean, I think it's just really unique. Like you don't really hear that very often. I feel like unless you're at like an actual like symphony or something. Well, I mean, like I said, it did kind of sound like a symphony in here. <laughs> Fair. With all the instruments going on. So yeah. uh, it was really cool. Great vibe. But one thing I found weird was like the messaging of the song did not go with what I was hearing from the lyrics. It was like a, kind of a, you know, somber lyricism that he was using. But like but a the, super upbeat kind the of The tempo, tempo and the, the upbeatness of the song was very contrasted to that. So yeah. that was, uh, you know, I, I was like, am I supposed to feel sad or happy listening to this song? <laughs> a little bit <laughs> yeah but it was fire nonetheless it was great yeah, groove it was like really i cool. said a great vibe um i think like i'd have to probably look at a list to see all the instruments that were used in this because i think it's probably pretty long yeah oh yeah i imagine there's tons and um you know like i said i saw briefly that he had played most of them um, because uh, there was so much overdubbing with this that they you know the layering the depth of this song was probably really tough to put together because there's so much happening mm -hmm. so i really enjoyed it though it was a cool sound very very unique like you said the flute added to that but it's not just the flute yeah you know it's it's i think the composition is very unique and and creative they do their own thing so i, I really very enjoyed creative. that yeah that was cool too well hopefully you guys enjoyed our reaction to part two <laughs> from Jethro Tull. I want to say Hall every time, but it's <laughs> Tull. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button for us. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know what's in this song and if we're supposed to feel happy or if we're supposed to feel sad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you haven't subscribed and you would like to and you want to come on this journey, well, just hit the button and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.